Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you my pencil case and what's exactly inside. So let's go. And now I've got a funny looking pencil case with Miko on it and I really really love it. So let's unpack it. There's a lot of things that I don't really use that often, so just keeping that in case if I ever need it. So yeah. So we start with the basic stuff like highlighters, which I don't really use, but yeah. Why not? May come handy one day. Same with ruler, eraser and pencil sharpener. And then I've got some of those very, very old Stabilo fine liners that kind of are right to add details same with this Posca fine liner in orange it's a really good one I don't really use it that often which is a sin I should use it more often let's do it then and then I've got all of those old fine liners I really like them I like Faber Castle and I do like a lot Sakura Micron and then I've got one of the old ones from Poland which is the Restore brand so yeah they are pretty beaten up because I use them a lot Biro pen because you know you need Biro come on let's be honest we all need Biro in our pencil cases and then some random pencils this one is wrapped in a Japanese newspaper I got it from United States from Blick I think that's the star called and then two normal pencils and yeah I use those pencils for all those drawings I'm showing you right now I'm not really that fussy when it comes to pencil I'm more like I'm more bothered about the paper and when it's really smooth I don't really like it but I like texture paper but yes, I usually use around like a uh, between the B and 3B range you know soft pencils and then that's the favorite thing of mine are the Aldi script I think that's what they called markers which were on they were selling them last year or beginning of this year and they're really good they're like six quid or something so if you see them in your local Aldi then go ahead and grab a box because they're really good I mean they're not obviously not as good as copics but and for something that you put in your pencil case and you carry around and you are not really bothered about losing they're perfect so yeah they've got twin tip they've got the fine tip and they've got the brush tip so they're really good and again some examples of on how they look they're really good I mean you don't really get much choice of colors you, you know you get only your standard to 12 12 markers so yeah you only get the colors they give you, but, you know, they're pretty decent. You can't really complain about them. I don't really like the Pro Markers, and for me, they are slightly above the Pro Markers. Not as good as Copics, but, you know, if you're on a budget, they're really good. And basically, that's everything. So thank you for watching again. And see you in the next video. Bye!